Okay, um, I wanted to talk a little bit about ulcerative colitis. Um, uh, ulcerative colitis is a condition where uh, a person's bowel is inflamed and when they uh, look at uh, the bowel um, with the uh, 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 scope, um, they find that there are ulcerations um, in the bowel. Um, it's considered a, an inflammatory condition, an autoimmune inflammatory condition. Um, autoimmune is uh, kind of similar to um, the condition that you have with rheumatoid arthritis. Um, uh, rheumatoid arthritis is an autoimmune inflammatory condition. And uh, ulcerative colitis is another autoimmune condition. In this kind of a, a condition, the body's own immune system is attacking uh, the person. Um, and um, so uh, basically the cause of this is um, the body's own immune system uh, making a mistake, uh, basically, and um, uh, attacking certain things. Um, uh, these days we do have uh, medications that can uh, block this immune response um, and so um, help the, uh, the bowel to heal um, um, and uh, uh, take care of some of the uh, pain and uh, uh, diarrhea problems that somebody with ulcer colitis can have. Um, uh, the um, a person with ulcerative colitis um, needs to have um, exams of the bowel at intervals to make sure that things are healing properly and that the condition is not getting worse. One of the complications for somebody with ulcerative colitis is that it can deteriorate into colon cancer. Um, in other words, there's a higher risk of colon cancer in somebody with ulcerative colitis than in the general population. And it's because of this chronic inflammation that um, basically causes um, uh, injury to the bowel and can disrupt uh, the uh, cells and cause them to uh, go into a tumor. So generally, a person with ulcerative colitis um, needs to have a colon uh, scope exam um, every uh, so many periods of time to reevaluate the bowel and make sure that there isn't any uh, evidence of this uh, uh, colon deterioration. Um, uh, they do biopsies of the area, um, and if they look under the microscope and can see that there's been some uh, changes in the cell structure, um, uh, the uh, 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 per person could be um, in a precancerous state. Um, um, most of the time, if somebody um, has um, a, uh, uh, a situation where their bowel is precancerous um, or a, a very um, early stage of, uh, of cancer, um, uh, they're uh, uh, gonna be uh, uh, talked to by the surgeon about having a, um, a, a, a part of the bowel removed. Um, uh, if uh, the ulcerative colitis is limited to one portion of the bowel, um, um, it is possible to remove um, um, part of the bowel um, so that that portion um, uh, doesn't have a chance to turn into cancer. Um, I always say that um, if it's uh, if the um, tissue is in the garbage can, you know, you don't have to worry about it turning into cancer then. Um, so, you know, that's kind of the situation here. If you have um, uh, a ulcerative colitis that um, affects a portion of the bowel that um, can be easily removed, um, then, you know, basically um, uh, we can have a surgeon remove that portion of the bowel. And, you know, basically uh, with uh, minimal um, uh, uh, complications. Um, people can go on to live a normal life with normal bowel movements, etc., by uh, removing a portion of the bowel and reconnecting everything. Um, and then uh, basically uh, it's almost as if nothing was ever done. Um, there may be some uh, slight looseness to the bowel after the surgery, but um, in general, that's a lot safer than the possibility that you have to go back, you know, every, uh, every six months for another exam because of the, the concern about cancer. Uh, uh, oh, 
hopefully this helps. And don't forget that there are medications available today to treat this condition, like I said, to uh, treat the immune response, uh, to block the uh, inflammation and immune response so that hopefully it doesn't even get to this point. Okay, take care.